Let's talk about this this series finale, such a highly anticipated season series finale. Amenadiel becomes God in the end. We're gonna go in right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what what went through your mind when you you realized that's what was going to happen? One, I was just uh, pleasantly surprised. Um, but I think also, you know, taking a step back, um, you know, and just taking a look at the show, uh, uh, I, I hope it's okay that I say, you know, just based on um, who these characters are, it makes sense. He's been groomed in, in the family business ever since he was created, but as I think happens sometimes, that person that's been groomed to take over uh, doesn't want the job and has to go on their journey to come all the way back around and realize that um, they're perfect for the job and that maybe they can run the business slightly you know, uh, different than, yeah. uh, than, than how the parents ran it. I think you said it perfectly because actually Joe and Ildi said Amenadiel was actually the God we needed. Right. Just that it did actually make perfect sense. Overall, what did you think about how the series ended? I thought the series ended really well. I mean, I've been nervous to say that because it's not really up to me, it's not up to us, right? Um, I uh, the fans will let us <laughs> the fans will let us know if we have ended the series in a way uh, that makes them happy. In my opinion, I I think they did uh, an absolutely excellent job of wrapping up everyone's storylines and even leaving some storylines a little open ended, um, but in a satisfying way. So I feel like every character really got something nice in the end. I I really do. Yeah. Speaking of nice in the end, we had talked about this so many times, but Amenadiel and Linda's son, Charlie, did end up getting his wings. Yes. <laughs> what took so long? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, uh, it was fantastic. And I absolutely love that moment. Um, uh, you know, I think it's, you know, I've joked about this, but I think it's one of those things where as parents, you know, of course, we want our children to be all that they want to be, but we all have our secret, you know, uh, you know, kind of secret things inside of us that, you know, that we're hoping. And so I think Amenadiel was just like every other mom and dad and just wanted his, his son to be a celestial. So they have something in common, something to talk about, something that, you know, Amenadiel can um, teach him about his powers. Um, and, you know, to do it with Rachel was just a blast. That that entire story arc uh, with uh, Rachel was so much fun. Chloe and Lucifer did get quite the ending. We see Chloe and she's on her deathbed. And then when she dies, Amenadiel, as God, asks if she's ready to cross over. What was it like to tape that scene with Lauren? It was fantastic because that was my last scene. That was my last day. So uh, to be able to do that with Lauren, who's someone that um, she's someone that I just admire and look up to. Uh, uh, she's a phenomenal human being. To do that last scene with her as my last time as a Mena deal was fantastic. It meant so much to me. And Lauren's performance is just uh, breathtaking. Yeah. Um, uh, but it was fantastic. It was it was just oh. So, 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 I'm not, I won't say heartbreaking because it's a it's a happy ending. Uh, so I'll just say uh, it was really charged, highly emotional. Um, I loved it. Yeah. What part of the finale made you the most emotional in a good way? Was it that moment? Was it another moment? It was actually another moment. The episode that really went through me was actually episode nine and my, it was my last scene with Tom. And it's the scene where Lucifer has called a Menadiel to the bar. The bar is empty. That's where you first met a Menadiel. And uh, he shows up there to tell Lucifer that he's decided to become God. And they have that final scene over the piano. Uh, that was my last scene with Tom. Um, that was really emotional. Uh, that day, we were both a mess. Um, uh, I'm actually getting uh, choked up talking about it, but it was just, it, it was really, really emotional. Um, yeah. 
Um, I love that guy. And we started the show together and, and I'll never forget um, us starting that show on Hollywood Boulevard and uh, being new dads together, not new dads, but uh, single dads uh, together and, and, and um, what it meant for both of us to be um, raising girls. And uh, it was just, it was just fantastic. And uh, I love that guy. And um, that was the, that was the final scene between him and I, and that was the hardest day that I've ever had to film. So. Wow. Ever in your entire career. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And you've done a lot. So that's saying something. Yeah. It was, um, it was a bittersweet day. Now we're all going to have, um, these memories and this show and this journey close to our hearts forever. Is your daughter a fan of Lucifer? Do you let her watch or is she too? Well, here's the thing. Um, <laughs> I didn't let her watch uh, for the longest time. And then I found out behind my back uh, about a year ago that she was, uh, you know, um, over at her mom's place, uh, uh, checking the show out on uh, Netflix. So uh, that's out of the bag. She does like the show, even though she's too young for the show. Um, she does like the show. Yeah. <laughs> does, she give you, does she give you ideas that she wants or is she like, Oh, we gotta we gotta get a men deal to do this. Like, does she ever give you input? No, I think uh, she usually winds up talking the most about Maze. You know, uh, love she that thinks for her. Maze, it, of course, right? She thinks Maze is badass and uh, loves the way she dresses and you know her 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 crazy fashion sense. Um, uh, that's 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 who my daughter pays more attention to. Uh, so, which is the way it should be. 